Welcome back to House TV Live. I'm Rick Spence, and with me today is Marie Burgos of Marie Burgos Design with offices in New York and L.A., doing amazing work all over the world, really. You've been on House for quite a while. You've been winning design awards year after year after year, over 100,000 saves of your images. So we thought we'd spend a little time with you and just talk about some of your uh, approaches to color in spaces because you're very passionate about integrating color into a space, neutrals and brights, and just across the whole gamut. Why is color so important to a space? So color, uh, I approach color from, first of all, from my background, because I'm a mixed uh, uh, Caribbean French uh, lady. My family is from a beautiful island of Martinique, and there's a lot of natural colors over there, the plants, the flowers. We, we can see color all around us, and we don't really necessarily pay attention, but color has a real effect on people's moods, on people's uh, you know, feelings. It's really a great way, a great design tool to infuse happiness in a home or really calm down the space. So it's a great way to be really supportive uh, of people. We have some of your work here, beautiful work, and maybe we could walk through a few of these and you could break down the approach to the spaces. First one I have here is the Chelsea Duplex. So tell me about this space and the color palette here and what you did. This project was for a beautiful family, a mixed background family, Mexican, Argentinian. They wanted a very serene, very calm space, like a base for their family to grow, but also they wanted to bring a little bit of their backgrounds with colors, with, with uh, patterns, areas where the, the kids could, you know, be at, at peace and areas where you know, the family was getting together. So if we look at the living room, first of all, like looking at the type of art, what do you really love? Uh, choose a piece that's really like talks to you. You can see that the color palette all around, so the walls and the, the main pieces of furniture, like the sofas, the rug are more, you know, calming colors. So it's the light grays and light blue. And it's like how to actually bring a secondary color. Uh, so like, we wanted to warm it up because the gray uh, is kind of a cold color. So how to bring another color that actually warms up the space. So it brings that balance of cold and warm. So bringing in leather, so something like really beautiful like this, bring it some warm or came to the space. The other step was like how to bring an accent that makes it playful, that make it, makes it in interesting and unique. So then that's when I brought in a little bit of yellow you know, three colors, suddenly you're starting to have something more interesting. So we have like yellow pillows, we have the art, we have a little bit of full finishes on the, uh, on the lamps. It's really about creating a, a harmonious ensemble. And you can do that not only with, with art, but you can do that with a rug. You know, if you have a favorite rug uh, that has different colors, that has different patterns, you can do that with a piece of fabric. If a piece of fabric has, for example, different colors that you like on it. You can pick, you know, the lighter gold and you can pick the green and you can pick the, you know, the, uh, the cream or the ivory color. And really from that color palette, create, you know, a space. Okay, let's look at another space. Tell me about this awesome New York Loft bachelor pad. Oh, yeah, the guest bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This With is, the orange bed, right? Yeah, oh, okay. this is beautiful. <laughs> the idea was to create really a welcoming space for guests. This is too nice for guests. They're, gonna, they're never going to leave. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I was going to say. It's like they're never going to leave. So, uh, Michael, my client, has, like, <laughs> friends that do not leave. <laughs> They want. They come for one night and they stay for the week. <laughs> Marie, Marie, you made it too yeah. nice. You gotta come. You gotta make. <laughs> well, you know, this is really about. You know, he has a beautiful home, beautiful loft, and this guest bedroom was really more of a little retreat. You know, for whoever was going to come to the space. So I wanted to give it a luxurious feel. You know, you want to treat your guests the best way. And, and, and because, like, when family is fine and your mother's going to come, you want to make sure she's like, she feels like a beautiful queen in the space. So that's what we, you know, I really try to portray in that room. The colors I chose were, you know, more grounding, more luxurious, but I wanted to also bring in 
a little bit of whimsy, you know, a little bit of, okay, we're going on a retreat. So I've used different layers of different materials, still in the warm color palette, kind of a cowhide wallpaper in a dark brown. Uh, so it's really grounding. It's a combination of texture. I also use leather. So on the accent chair, you have also that warm color, but it's a different texture. It's all about the luxurious effect. I went with like a warm light, but with white shade. We also have a little bit of touches of white, like with the, the rug. The rug has a little bit of, you know, cream color to it. So it's like it's a nice combination of a darker background. And then you have the light color, not only on the rug, but on the lighting and the reflection of that beautiful mirror that brings it all together. Let's go to a different project, different homeowner. This is the Tribeca Penthouse Master Bedroom. Brighter, kind of happier. Uh, tell me about this space and your use of color here. So these clients are like big travelers. Uh, so they have they collectors uh, of beautiful art. And then actually throughout their own home, we have integrated their art and really pulled from the beautiful art that they have to uh, create the color palette. So here, yeah, this is more of a joyful bedroom. Because they were traveling a lot, it was kind of more open door for the kids to come in all the time. So they wanted to have like a bright, fun bedroom. So that's what we've created. It could be a kid's room too. It's got enough of that Absolutely. happy energy to it. Absolutely. This is like really the joyful personalities that Jean and Bill are. So it's just like this is really what they wanted in terms of, uh, and you can see with the art that they have, this is kind of a very whimsical, very joyful art. Uh, and that was the all inspiration for their home. We're gonna go to another project now, the Garden Brownstone Family Room. Tell me about this space. This family room, it's really the room where the whole family gets together and watch football together <laughs> and like get the popcorn and so, it was important to make it not only, you know, elegant, but also appealing to all the ages of the family. So the teenage ones wanted to have a space that was cool also. So I went with a light color palette for the walls so to keep the natural light because this is a brown stone and it's not always like, a, you know, great light coming from outside. And then I integrated other layers, taking into account also the function of the space. So if we're going to have naturals and popcorns on the sofas, we don't want the sofas to be white. This is why we've integrated like some more, you know, deep blues. It's still, you know, it's, it was still a velvet, beautiful, comfortable fabric on the sofa, but it's easier to wipe. It's a color that also um, is very inviting because uh, it's a fun color. And what we did is like really integrated also a uh, happier color like the yellows, the drapery, to have really this exclamation point of happiness in the room because the whole family getting together. Not only like plain fabric, but also patterns. So the patterns, for example, on the accent chair takes a little bit of the wall color and a little bit of the sofa together. Uh, so you really have, you know, a combination of all the colors here. Yeah, it's beautiful, really nice, and super okay. fun, cozy. Nine feet, nine feet sofas, so two of them like this, plus the accent chair, so everybody has, you know, their space to put their feet up. And the coffee table is a solid, you know, beautiful travertine uh, top. Uh, so it's like people are not scared to put their feet up. So it's really like really to uh, create something laid back, but still elegant, still fun, uh, and that that appeals to all the generation in the family. I want to do a, a bedroom, and I think this one's interesting because how do you make a high ceiling space cozy? So tell me about this space. This is the New Rochelle master bedroom. Uh, it was a fantastic project because uh, it's for that beautiful, successful couple. They were relocated to New Rochelle and they bought their first home together. This home was a home with character, or with history. It was really about like having the right scale of furniture to bring the ceiling height a little bit down and make it a little bit more cozy. Also the choices of color. So with a beautiful wallpaper, it really ground the space. It really brings an element of luxury, it make the space a little bit narrower, a little bit cozier. So you're kind of seeing that texture. And then does it have a feel to it as well? Does it have a, a, a texture to it? It has a feel. It's embossed. It's embossed. Nice. And uh, it's a beautiful wallpaper from Philip Jeffries, actually, mm -hmm. this one. 
and it, it's, it was embossed. It has gold uh, emboss, embossing on a, on a black uh, backing. And so it's, it was very luxurious. They wanted like a, a royal suite kind of. Uh, and, but I, I wanted also to bring in some balance because this is kind of a dark room. There was not a lot of natural light coming in the room. And they wanted also to keep it very intimate, like a very romantic retreat, uh, something where they could you know cozy up together. And so I used a lot of dark uh, colors and then brought in this very light uh, color sofa. The gold of the wallpaper and the dark color of the wallpaper came into the little uh, side tables in front of the sofa. The uh, gold also was, you know, on the hardware uh, on the nightstands. So it's like how to bring that little accent everywhere throughout the room without making it overwhelming and creating that luxurious retreat for them. For me, it's about the feeling that you want to, you know, have in the space. When you walk in the space, how do you want to feel? How do you want to, you know, it's like, so that's the first question to ask my clients. What inspires you and what's the lifestyle? What do you want to do in the space? And also how important is the emotions? Because then that gives me the story. Uh, and, then, and then I can really you know, develop that story and then pick the elements that actually bring that story to life into the space. Beautiful. Well, all this work is amazing, beautiful work. Thank you so much, Rick. And thank you, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rick. I really appreciate, you know, everything you do with, uh, with House. I've uh, been with you for many, many years now. And, uh, and my business has been flourishing and uh, and I'm, I'm just so pleased to do what I do. Uh, it's, it's so special to be a designer and to create, you know, beautiful spaces for people and to be able to be, to be part of their life in a positive way. You're doing amazing work and spreading a lot of love and, and uh, it's just, it's just so great to spend some time with you and see your spaces. And I want to I wanna do a feature with you in the future. Hopefully we can talk to some of your clients and get the full story. Uh -huh. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. So, uh, yeah, I, I look forward to it. I, I'll be pleased. Very, very happy. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Marie. We'll be in touch. Thank okay. you. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.